out there, MJ. We want to. Yeah, we want you stock, to. Get some money on that. That's right. I want. I want to get sponsored by Michael Jordan, the first men's physique competitor out there. Sponsored by MJ. What you know about that? You guys, some more weight on that yet? Yeah. No more uh, horse play. We got four working sets here. We're gonna go 12 reps, about 90 seconds in between. One of my camera guys brought up a good point. Ben, uh, ben was asking, you know, well, if you want, you know, five week triceps, why not lock out and work on those triceps? The last, you know, last little bit of that, that bench press movement is gonna work on triceps. You don't wanna do that for two reasons. Locking out with weight, like you're gonna be using on the bench press, is gonna be problematic for those elbow joints. You know, when you're working for the triceps, you're, using, you're usually using um, lighter weight um, and really focusing on that extension. Also, when you do that, you're taking tension off your chest. Um, so make sure, you know, if you want to throw in some triceps at the, at the end of it, if it's a really weak area and you want to do, save it for later. But this here, we're focusing strictly on chest, keeping the tension there. Like I said, we're going to go about 12 sets, pyramiding up in weight each time. So I want to make sure your weight's coming down just, just below my chin. Really working on that upper pec. Always smooth. A little light, so I did 13. Go up next time. Yes, sir. Got enough chest day. Did you do 14? 14, that felt good. All right. What? <laughs> What'd you do? I did 13. It's cool. Yeah. It's gonna be like that today. Yep, you go first this time. <laughs> you want to play the rough? Okay. Stretching in between sets. I know some people might not feel like stretching works. Something you gotta decide. But I really one of the things you'll see me doing later on in this training program is working my chest and back on the same day. You just get a crazy pump, and because they're um, opposite muscle groups, you can really get a good stretch while you're working one out. Let's say I'm working chest, I'm stretching my back out, and vice versa. So. I kind of like to just do a stretch in between sets. I might, I might die to get this full time. We'll see here. I might have just bit off more than I could chew. So workout partner. That's a lot. Let's do it. Come on, nice and strong. Let's go, knock him out. Come on. Three. Good. Come on, big chest. Let's go. There it is. Hey. Perfect. Go, move the weight. There you go. Up, 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 all you. No more. Ah. We'll stay there next set. Up, 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 up. Ah. Two twenty-five bench press. Did that? I did two twenty-five. Thirty-six times when I was twenty, twenty-one. I think that's the strongest I ever was on bench press. I think I put up like four forty. Well, on the football days, I was wearing like two forty then. All big, blown up, but it set the foundation. A lot of people ask me, you know, uh, is it better to, to bulk and then cut down? Or, Steve, I'm 17, I want to do a show, and I tell people, you need that muscle maturity first. You need years in the weight room. Uh, why I don't compete, why I don't compete, you know, when you're older, you know, getting your 30s, you can compete more often because your uh, potential, you know, you've already capped it off. When you're younger, if you do compete, once a year max. You, you need time to grow in the gym. Um, you need time to, to put on weight, to put on mass, to really concentrate on, on building strength. So that's what I did. You know, I played football and I was so lucky that, um, that I was able to, to lift as hard as I did and start off in an early age. And I was benching in seventh grade, like 225. My freshman year in high school, I benched 310. So it was one of those, one of those things like I was able to concentrate on strength and setting up a good base. I did body weight exercises for years before I ever touched the weight. 
the, the good part about having an uh, athletic director as your, your father. I spent a lot of time in the gym. One thing you'll notice that I do during contest time, just to help create that mind muscle connection, in between sets, I'll look at the clock, I'll look at my watch, and for 20 seconds I'll just hold, flexing, just isometric, isometric contractions of just the chest muscles, just squeezing there, and it helps bring out the details, the cuts, so I'll do that more and more as I get closer to a competition, just in between sets. Um, is a great way to bring out the details that you know might be the, the difference between first and second place. I want to leave no stone unturned. If I think like it might help me out that 0.2 of a percentage, you know, I'm gonna do it. And everything's calculated in my little black book. It comes really like a science experiment. And I, just, I love it. I eat it up. I like seeing seeing progress and, and tracking it that way. Look at Chad over there. He had suckered into spotting a lady over on squats. <laughs> nice, Chad. Uh -huh. It's a spit. People just love that. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. so grateful that you're here. Great job spotting me. I'm a chiropractor. I'll, I'll spot you anytime. That was good. Good job. That's your secretary. That's your secretary? Is it really? That's not like a jackass. All right, last one, man. Last set, best set. Oh. There we go. Hey, you hey, go, keep going. I really wanted to cave my chest there and let my, my delts take over and push it out, but that's what I would have done in the past when it's all about the weight and not about the muscle. I would have just done anything to got that out, but Said you gotta check your ego. The chest expanded. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Up. 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 That's fine. That's it. It's the pump. Feels fantastic. I can't say the next part. If my grandma watches, she hears me talking about what Arnold says next. I'll never be allowed in her house again. But you guys know what it is. 